so let's dive right in uh, here we see a problem and a few pictures so picture a is a pictorial representation of the textual problem so what we see here is uh, two charges plus q and minus q separated by a distance d and uh, we need to find the field at point p that is here so how do we do that uh, let's find the field due to charge plus q and let's say it is e plus q and obviously the char the field is pointing in the direction away from the charge let's also find the field due to minus q and uh, the field is let's call it e to the e minus q so the distance of separation from here to here is z the vertical separation is z now we need to find out the electric field due to both of these charges that is e plus q and minus q at this point how do we do that let's make a few more basic housekeeping things clear let's say the separation between charge q and the point p is r so it's going to be the same here too uh, now because this is a right angle triangle uh, the and because these two sides are the same the angle is going to be the same here too let's call these theta okay um, therefore when this is theta this also becomes theta so what we'll do is basically uh, we'll split the e plus q into two parts so let's say we will obtain a vertical component and a horizontal, co horizontal component for e plus q similarly we will split the e minus q into a, a horizontal component and a vertical component now now because uh, these charges are equal and opposite uh, what we can make out from here is that basically the vertical components cancel out the horizontal components add up okay so you can see that the horizontal components act in the same direction but the vertical components are in the opposite direction so essentially what we are left with is two times the horizontal component so that is what we see in the picture b so in picture b i have basically split the uh, electric field due to the positive q charge into a z component and an x component uh, similarly in c we have split the electric field due to minus q into uh, minus z and an x component so what happens is we will see that these two will cancel out and all that we are left with is uh, a summation of ex plus ex now what is ex going to be uh, so let's say basically therefore the electric field uh, the final electric field is going to be two times ex x cap okay so what is that ex going to be uh, let's find out what ex is going to be now because uh, this is the theta so ex is going to be e plus q uh, sine theta okay so therefore the final electric field is going to be 2 e plus q sine theta x cap so once we know this all that we have to do is find out what e plus q is find out what sine theta is let's go ahead and do that we know that the electric field due to any charge right so the electric field due to the charge plus q is therefore given by q divided by 4 pi r square where r is the distance from point q to point p and then we have sine theta x cap so we we have to write everything in terms of stuff that we already know so we don't know what r is we don't know what theta is but we do know that r is part of the right angle triangle so we know that this is z and this is d by 2 so 
what we can do is we can find an expression for r r is the square root of z square plus d by 2 whole square that implies r square can be written as z square plus d by 2 whole square also sine theta is going to be let's see so this is theta sine theta will be this divided by this so sine theta is going to be d by 2r therefore our final electric field is going to be 2 q d by 4 pi z square plus d by 2 square and whole to the power of 3 by 2 x cap so this is our solution please subscribe to this channel for more such videos thank you